Well, it is what it is, what you've read. Um, you know, years ago, I caught Kieran cheating with uh, two of my best friends. I paid for therapy to get him help. And as far as I knew, our marriage was perfect, our sex life was perfect, the family unit was per absolute perfect. And obviously, going to work, I employed a nanny to come in. And as everyone knows, I've caught him again, um, having an affair with my nanny for a year, sleeping with him in my hat, sleeping with her in my house and everything. So, yeah, I caught him again, and there's other things that's also going to come out. Um, so here I am again. I mean, what do you do? It's like... Pff, how how, I, how I, are you? Because we sort of know you as Pricey the fighter, and but th th how, how are you coping with this? Well, I think when someone stabs a knife in the first time and they twist it, I mean, I was literally distraught. I suppose this time it's like, was I expecting it to happen again? Was my guard up? Because I'm acting completely different this time. Um, and, you know, my kids are older. They know what's going on. And for me, you know, work is work. For I actually love coming to work. It takes your mind from and all, you know, my work, 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 the kids. But he's obviously, and he knows, he's, he's got to get help. He's... He has, well, he needs to get help. I mean, it's not, nor it's not normal behaviour, what he's doing, especially when you're in a happy marriage. I thought it was, well, really I was are. happy. I mean, but... I think we're all, we're all always saying this, aren't we? We're always, you know, struck by when you talk about your home and your yeah. life with Kieran and your kids and the animals and the farm. And it's real. It's a really real and loving relationship. So... I couldn't have been more shot last week when you told thing me is, this. You said when things happen to me, people probably oh yeah, this is exaggerated. Because it's so unbelievable. It's I was How thinking. I feel? People always say to me, God, so you know, is Katie like? I say it's the truth, but mm. because it's so insane, you sit there and go. Really? I mean, how much have we do we yeah. do that? Mm. But I, I feel, and I don't know if you feel the same, girls, that listening to you talk about this over the last few days, for me, it's almost like you're a bit in shock. You've gone into like, right, I'll do this, well, I'll do that. Well, it's people close must to me. It's like sad. you employ someone to look after your children, oh, a bit at home with your family, and then find out what's, what they've yeah. been doing behind your back. It's like, when I come home, is it all fate? I mean, I'm just shocked. Kieran is absolutely devastated. But I'm like, you're devastated, but you've done this to me. Yeah. But he doesn't want to lose me. He, he, he does need help. He has got an addiction. He so has. So is there a part of you then? Because you know he does have an addiction. Yeah. Is there a part of you, although you're cut off from it now, emotionally, really, because it's one yeah, too I many? Yeah, I mean, I Do love him, because when I go home, him? it's confusing, because it's like, oh, this is this Kieran, but then he's got this side to him. Yeah. He's hurt me once, and I don't deserve to be hurt. There's no future for no, the moment. No, you don't deserve it, but do help. you feel a bit like... OK, you've done this, and I actually feel sorry for you because you do need help. Yeah, I do feel like that. Yeah. I'm not sitting there laughing, I think, because I don't even know what to think anymore because I'm just so shocked it's happened again and I'm so shocked it's someone I let in my house with my kids, cuddling my kids, and I'm having to go home going, really? And mm. it's in my house again. The reason I moved from I my last house is because he did it all over the it. house and it's happened again. And I know he's sorry and I know he's upset, but he still did it. He's got to remember, it's like, Kieran, you still did it. Mm. You still hurt me again. Mm. And I can't just draw a line under it. Do you There's think he's going to get any help? Well, he needs to, but I'm, I'm, he has to do it on his own accord. I tried my hardest yeah, the first time. you can't help now. I mean, how many times do you forgive someone? I know, I know he, there's issues from his past he has to deal with as a kid. I'm not saying it's an excuse, but you lot know it's horrific what happened to him mm. as a kid. He just needs to let it all come out. But me as a person, you know, all I want to do is enjoy my work, enjoy my phone, which I thought we had. I don't deserve to be hurt yeah. and, you know, yeah. betrayed. What is it with these people, these women there... around me that... All right, he might have a problem, but they haven't. Mm. I know. So I know. they can say no. Mm. I mean, a year's a year. Do you, you think know? you'll ever be able to trust... And I'm not talking about men. I'm talking about the women as well. Do you think you'll ever be able to trust anyone again? I can't tarnish everyone with the same brush, because yeah, otherwise I walk around and not speak to yeah. anyone, yeah. you know? But uh, when you talk to him, he does... What he does, and he'll admit himself, he'll send messages to people. I didn't even know they were messaging anyway behind my back. But anyway, he'll message people, but then it gets to a point and he admits where he'll send a message like, um, oh, you know you fancy me really as a joke, to see their reaction back. Yeah. And he says from their reaction back, he knows if he can manipulate them. I mean, he's clever, he'll admit it. And he, he said, but he's said all of this yeah, to Yeah, he us. knows, yeah. but he, he can't help himself. The thing is, Katie, like, you, you come across as so strong and so now in control and putting on this public persona of, I'm going to be but, fine. Yeah, I but don't, how... I'm acting normal. But how 
deep down? Do you, do you feel deep down? I mean, um, really? Human will admit I'm being completely different. It's like when he first did it, you know, I was pregnant, I was needy. I'm like, oh my God, I need you, need you. And this time, he's like, why aren't you kissing? Why, why aren't you giving me a cuddle? And I'm like, because of what you've done, Kieran. It's like, I've turned, it's like in my head, it's like, enough's enough. I, I just don't want to be hurt anymore. It's almost why? like that knife that you talked about that's gone in. That, then there's scar tissue, and the knife can never quite go back in well, again. Well, yeah, only so much way. can happen, and then all of a sudden, yeah. like, like, we've all, we've all been there, yeah. and that light bulb goes on, and you think, oh, do you know what? Actually, that's it now. But then there's the children. It. You know, we've got two young children with him. Oh. They adore us both, Junior and Princess. They absolutely adore him. And then you've got Harvey, and it's like, mm. I said to him, it's not just me. I said, look at these poor kids. What have they deserved? Oh. You know, you should have learned the first time. Look at them. Oh. You know, Junior he taking to football on a Tuesday. Yeah, he was going to adopt Harvey. <laughs> you know, I want him to still do the stuff with the kids he did before, because why should they suffer? And I think yeah. I'm being sensible in the case of, you know, what, whatever happens, whatever, he should still be involved and help the kids. Of course, you know yeah. what I mean?